and Emma here from Show Homes Online. You'll have to excuse today, um, a hurricane has decided to uh, hit the UK, so it's going to be a little bit noisy on the camera. But we are at Damstead Park in Alfreton in Derbyshire, part of our Derbyshire special. Now, the house type here, this is by Avent Homes, and this is the lovely five bedroom Kirkham. Now, what I love about the Kirkham is it's got a beautiful um, sort of pitch on the side there, beautiful hint of Tudor there. Look at the detail in, in this property. Um, nice brick detail in there. R double garage as well. You don't get that very often in a house these days. But anyway, without further ado, let's go and take a look at the Kirkham. Hello, this Hello. is the Kirkham by Avant Homes and we're in Damstead Park in Ilverton in Derbyshire. Part of our ongoing Derbyshire show, show homes and this is the third of the Avant ones and We've saved the best for last, a big so. five bed, Absolutely. integral garage, beautiful looking, let's get a look around. Oh, she's warm in here, isn't look it? at this little, just so looking at this, look at this, yeah. that volume ceiling all the way up there, nice detail that, it's interesting to see what's up there. This house is epic. Yeah, okay then. Here, though. That's to the integral, that is to the integral garage. It's open and we can have a look. Okay. So you can see now, there's the integral garage now. Good size, isn't it? Is it a double garage or is it? Yes, a it's a double garage, yeah, but you haven't got you haven't got that beam in between them there to do you know what I mean, the brick pillar. So you've actually got one big garage door. And not a lot, you know, it's nice to have an integral garage. So come into the sitting room there. It's a self-contained lounge, very warm in here, isn't it? Yeah. I felt the other houses, because they had um, tired floors running through, they were a little bit chilly. This is quite warm now, the carpet doesn't make the difference. Yeah, the, the one we've just been in, the second one, yeah. actually had tiles right the way through yeah. the ground floor, didn't it? Sometimes it's nice to have a bit of carpet in your lounge. So, dimensions. So this is relax, this room. Three meters seven by four meters nine. Yeah. I like the I like the Avant branding. So they've got two substantial sofas, haven't they? Yeah. Very wide hallway. I'd be interested to know what the width of this is actually. Right. So if we have a look in here. Oh, is that just a cupboard? Yes. It's got the iron board in. There's really lots of randoms in the cupboards here. I want to say anything yeah. I'll say. Ooh. Now again, wallpaper. again we've got this diff this tile difference on there. If you could texture that, that kind of wood feel texture there on it. Very nice. And look at the ornaments. I'll tell you something about floating shelves, right? And I'm gonna give you an example of it. You see, they never ever fit properly, do they? They're leaning. They're a pain. The fish are hanging on for dear life yeah. there, aren't they? And They're they, sliding forward. And if they fall off, off that would be a shame of a beautiful fish. They are lovely. I yeah. really like those. So, you've got a suspended sink and a toilet there. Yeah. It's an internal downstairs WC, so there's no window. But it's very light. It's got high heating controls there. Yes. Right, so through to the rear of the house. Gosh. So they've gone for the open plan here then, haven't they? Wow, this is vast. Yeah. And beautiful. Right, let's have a look how they've divided this up. So, this end on the plan is marked as live. Yeah. Oh, in fact it's all live, including the kitchen. Right, so, the entire length of this room is 10 metres 9 just a fraction under 10 metres one, yeah? By three metres eight in width. So you've got your family area at this end, which is a lounge on its own, isn't it? Yeah. Size-wise, it's, it's really substantial. Beautifully, beautifully dressed. Look at this, this footstool. What a gorgeous place. Everybody could put their foot on there. You wouldn't even need to fight for it, would oh, you? You could sit on it, like, you could probably lie on it, couldn't you, if yeah. you wanted to? Really lovely. I do like the inclusion of TVs. Everybody's got one. It's good to know where yeah. you can put it. Gorgeous wallpaper as well. So they've got a dining table here in the middle. You could have it at the other end if you wanted to move things around. 
bifolds there to the rear, and then you've got two windows either side if you want to open the windows. You've got a breakfast bar then here at this end. What a lovely kitchen. It, it feels like they've really made the most of the space by adding in these extra bits. Yeah. This is nice, a shelf unit, just to display a few bits and pieces. And there too, on the end. Nice touch. Right, so you've got a bank of drawers there under your five burner hob, gas hob. You've got more cupboards here. Oh, there we go. Nice, kind of the regular shapes, but very nice. Oh, I always struggle with these type of kitchen cupboards, uh, with the cupboard doors. Well, that's interesting. You've got Hoover um, appliances here. You don't see those very often. Because the, the grips for the, the doors are right underneath, so you've almost got to graze your knuckles to get them open. Let me have a look at that. Mm, yeah. yeah. Did you know, though, they're almost, they're, those cupboards are actually a throwback to the 70s cupboards, aren't they? Yeah. Um, because obviously a lot of cupboards used to be like that, but this used to be plastic. So when you shut them, they are soft. Yeah. Ones, yeah. Beautiful work surface, though, isn't it? Quite a deep sink on that as well. Yeah, really nice. And a half what a lovely feet, what a lovely. Look at it, and they're beautiful. That's a lovely tap. Right, so you've got your fridge and freezer there. Again, Detail. shelves. Detail. I like that a lot. And a cupboard there. There's your oven and your... Is that yeah. a microwave? Or is that... That's your grill. Rotisserie. I think, oh, that looks impressive, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know me. I don't really cook, but I like the look of that a lot. Ooh. Whoa, so if you don't cook, where do you keep the takeaway menus? In here. <laughs> In our house, we have yeah. a box. So where would we put them in here? Yeah. We'd find a drawer where they can be got out every yeah. day. Right. Separate utility then. No, I do like this. The only thing I will say, only criticism I've got is those pipes. Look at them there. That cupboard just needed to be a little bit lower, didn't it? That is... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Drop, but, it, but it actually sits right below the uh, the vent pipe, doesn't it? Yeah. They could have boxed that in. Yeah, they could have done, yeah. yeah. I see what you mean. So you've got one appliance, and I don't think you've got room for another one. Yeah. Because of where the way your sink yeah, sits. Yeah, it. So you, essentially you've got a washer dryer in one, haven't you? Yeah. You've got your door there to the rear garden, but still a good size utility. Always like to have a sink, because yeah. you never know what you might need to put in it. That's lovely. I really, really like this. It's well lit. It's very stylish, yeah, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Very, very nice. So who Indeed. knew that Hoover did lovely appliances like that? Do you know what might have been nice? Radiator cover. Or underfloor, actually, mm, in here. Yeah. It's quite unsightly, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But very, very nice. Gosh. So at the bottom of the stairs here, there's that window there. Which is above the front yeah, door, nice. but it lights the stairs, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean a lot, a lot of um, a lot of developers would have took that across and used an extra bit of space on as rooms. Landing. But this is a big five bed, so look at, look at the height on this. Yeah, you'd have a job to get your your, your vacuum up there to get the cobwebs down. This reminds you? me of the carpet in our new house. Yes. Let's take a look upstairs. Right, first floor. Look at the size of the landing. No, we're not to plan with the other way around. So, I think if we start this way, we've got bedroom two then. Can I ask you why have you got your, your why have you got your collar up like the Fonzie? Because I like it. Is that is that how you how it's supposed to be? I like it. Right, we've got a door there, so that's your cylinder. You've got a little Fonzie anyway. Was it Fonzie or Fonz? Fonz, but everybody called him Fonzie. Okay, okay. Does anybody know what Fonz is from? We, uh, tell us. We already we know, but I was wondering if you do. Right, bedroom oh. two. Dimensions, just over the five metres by two metres nine. Lovely bedroom. Long, isn't it? Yeah. 
So they've got fitted wardrobes all the way along that side and it's got an ensuite. So this is a five bed up here. We've got five beautiful bedrooms to take a look at. I like the, uh, the trunks there. So the ensuite has got its own window, quite a big window as well. Let's just reverse around. You've got a very good shower there. You can, you can see the, the um, digital um, sh the thing that turns the shower on and off. And uh, look at the, dif di the difference in the tiling there. Just that bit of detail there. And that again, that shower head, which we've seen in all three show and how lovely. Because I think they contrasted a lot within their houses. But also you've got the suspended toilet yeah. and then your vanity. And we all know suspended toilets. I mean you could clean that room so easily, couldn't yeah. you, without getting around the toilet. You've actually haven't got to get on your hands and no, knees for that. No, at all. exactly. Right, so at the back you've got bedroom four here. Oh, those are unusual, aren't they? Is that an artificial grass headboard? It certainly is, you know. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I don't think we've ever seen that before, have we? What do you think of it? In Keep our other life, we use artificial grass a lot, but I've never seen it used on a headboard. Yeah. I've seen it on the floor. And like these little mini... Yeah, terrariums. They're so simply done, though. They look almost like a cake tin. I have to say that in the sales centre here, the, there were some flowers on the desk that looked absolutely beautiful. And when I said to the sales lady, your flowers are gorgeous she said they're not real and they were actually made of rubber they were the best artificial flowers I've ever seen mm -hmm. I was very impressed and I have a feeling none of these plants are real no they're not do you know I've noticed as well if you look into the gardens yeah the actual fences are really good quality close board fencing and you've even got you can see the top on the the capping rail on the top there yeah really nice really nice indeed you can see though these you get a serious amount of garden on these houses. Good size, but look they? at this, look at this though. Where we are, we've got the main road, the main the road running up there, but it's absolutely fantastic. The the trees. But over there you can see in that garden they've actually got a little gate which I think takes them down into where that oak tree is, where yeah. the trees are. Yeah. So you've got access to the woodland which is yeah. here. Anyway, right, so you've got a bank of wardrobes. To give you the dimensions, just over five meters by two meters nine. And we've got a space there for a lovely chair. Elferton's a really nice little town, isn't it? Right, this is bedroom five, dimensions two meters two by three meters one, and they've dressed it as a study. Yes, what do you know about this area, Steve? Well, Elferton is, it's actually off the A38. It's Alfreton, isn't it? Alfreton, oh God. Alfreton. Yeah. Alfreton is off the A38, and it, I tell you what, the motorway is just up the road, so you're not too motorway far away. being? The M1. the M1. You've got no problem getting, getting up there. But also you've got Derby, which is not too far away. Great farmer's market at Derby, so I'm told. Um, but it is, it's got its own Tesco here. It's a really Let's nice little town. Let's go in here. Which You're rushing me now, look. Well, I've actually got a plan that I haven't got wrong for a change. Lovely. So, bedroom three. So we're at the front here. Uh, we're actually over the garage. Bedroom three, four metres six by two metres nine. Another good double bedroom. Got some uh, Glastonbury inspired mm -hmm. kind of thing. A long way from Glastonbury here, folks. Festival goer. Yeah. Let's look. Let <laughs> the poncho look. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. 
Let's look at an artist that we would go, uh, you would actually go and see. Let's have a look. Oh, this is hard. Well, I like Clean Bandit. I like Sabia. Moody Blues. Gosh. Yeah. Lionel Richie. Oh, there you what's go. he oh. doing on there? Paul Weller. Paul Weller. I've paid to see him many times. Hang on, this I is more Paul my Weller. neck of the woods here. So you've got some poor Paul Oakenfold. Yes. There you go. Mm. Just take you out there. Right. Last but not least, then we've got bedroom one. Let me just give you a quick pan of that room again. Yeah. There you go. Because I know you. If I don't, you'll probably tell me off. Bedroom one, master bedroom, three meters four by four. We've walked into three. a wooden floor. We it have. feels a bit weird. Well, I think it's a vinyl. Yeah. It's certainly not wood. Um. It's a luxury bedroom. Uh, yeah. I don't think this works. I think it cheapens it, actually, with a cheap rug. What Get a, a carpet. Other than that, though, a really good sized bedroom. You could have a much bigger bed. Beautiful headboard. In fact, everything else is beautiful except for the floor. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're not very critical, are we? But we will, we, we will say if we. And it follows through, doesn't yeah. it, into the ensuite? So you've got no distinction between what is bedroom up from the door. No, you just think this is really slippy with, with. Well, you wouldn't want carpet, though, no. would you? That's the. Yeah, I mean, you, it's kind of boutiquey, right. isn't it? So let's have a look. Bedroom one. So this ensuite, we've got measurements: three meters four yeah. by one meter so six. So we've got two sinks this time. Twin sinks. Yeah. What a luxury. Love that very much. Suspended toilet. Two sinks is fab. And it's got a window, a big window, yeah. beautiful big shower. So actually the ensuite is fabulous. And look at the tiles. Yeah. Nice detail, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So come and stand with me by the window. Well, there you go. That's us, mm. Avon Homes, done and dusted. So this was the Kirkham, which was a five-bed detached. Yeah, great houses. Yeah, well, all absolutely beautiful here on this development, so yeah. it's worth coming to take a look. Um, if you've liked this video and our other videos, please give us a thumbs up um, and let us know what you think of this video. I will put all the details of this house and the other houses, obviously, in the description box down below, so don't forget to take a look down there. And also pop along to our Facebook page and give us a like yeah. um, on there you can see what we're about day to day see what we're doing and where we're going um, also leave us a review if you watch us tell us why you like watching us yeah. because without you guys we we wouldn't do this yeah. um, and we, we will continue on our Derbyshire trip this weekend and uh, we will catch you very soon on our next and video. And keep the suggestions coming in. We, you know, we, we will try we to get... We do listen. We yeah. do. Yeah. So somebody asked us for Avant Homes and we're here. Here we are. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.